Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for the conclusion of Group E. Ooh, well, a tight group this could be. It can all change after these three matches. Up first, we have Slifer Sky Dragon X going up against Dino Smash. Well, massive game for both of these two. Dino Smash, pretty... Um, yeah, yeah, Dino Smash safely through to the last 32, providing they get at least a losing bonus point. Well, they're pretty, they're pretty much fruit. Dino Smash and Shin Dominus are pretty much fruit. Put it that way. <laughs> they'll either go, well, they'll go through as at least one of the best fourth place teams, especially on eleven points. So, yep, yeah, a boat, a losing bonus point will make it official for Dino Smash. Put them five clear of Alpha Trooper. As for Slifer Sky Dragon X, well, a bonus. They need a bonus point win because, well, they just need to win. Ideally, they need a bonus point win, which would take them to nine points. Put them well; they'll go below Zeno on the by virtue of the fact that Zeno beat them. A three 0 win would put Slifer in the top three. But yeah, at, at least a bonus point win will give them a fighting chance of getting out as one of the best fourth place teams, and it will put them above the Thunderstorm and Cerno as well, who have also played all their games. So all they need to do then is hope that. One of the other guys that finishes fourth has less than nine points. So, yep, enough diddy dallying about that first matchup. The next matchup, we'll see Zeno Slip Goku going up against Jeremy Bruce Scott. Good opportunity for Zeno there to get to get the points they need to secure top three, and then a big game between Alpha Trooper and Shin Dominus. Alpha Trooper will probably need a bonus point win should Zeno win. To go level, well, to go above Shin Dominus by virtue of the fact that they would have beaten them. But yep, yeah, enough about our matchup. Let's move on to our first map. Let's get on with our first matchup, which is Slifer Sky Dragon X against Dino Smash. If I'm honest, I didn't really expect Slifer to be in this position. I thought they would have done better in this tournament, but they are on the brink of elimination, and defeat here will make it official. It's win or bust for Slifer Sky Dragon X. Although, it's not out of the realms of impossibility, but Dino Smash has been on form in this group, and this Kaka is not to be trifled with. Ooh, I, I don't know. I, I think Cypher can do it. Like, they're gonna need Geigers to pull its weight here if they're gonna do the bonus point win. Well, that's not a good start there. The car car getting the first hit, but there is a counter blitz. A counter blitz could help. Attack burst coming in as well. Burst once. Oh, that could be a big counter blitz. Saving the you set you sent the Saurus from taking a big crit from the car car. Redontosaurus. Oh, oh, that's a tie. Really doesn't want to get hit by that crit. Well, the Eucentrosaurus is doing well so far. Electric charge coming in, I believe. Yep. Yeah. This is a good start from Slifer Sky Dragon X. One more round for the Awaken mode as well. Ooh, we are going to see it. Will the Kakirodontosaurus go down? No, it won't. But it is wake, wake time for Eucentro. So at least we get to see that. Kakirodontosaurus gets the hit. Attack boost will come in as well. Ooh, counter blitz though. That has guaranteed that this Kakirodontosaurus will go down. So it, it doesn't really matter what happens here. Well, Eucentrosaurus gets the hit anyway. Didn't need the counter blitz. Kakirodontosaurus going down and Slifer in the lead. But can they hold on to it? Because up next for Dino Smash is Pentaceratops. I should point out that Dino Smash's third dino is a wind dinosaur, so if Geigers can defeat this thing without taking too much damage, the bonus point win is on for Slifer. Can this Eucentrosaurus get some cheeky hits before it dies? Which it is going to die eventually because it's on such low health. 
Oh, I can't. Pentaceratops finishing it off. And we are level packing. Elemental power coming in, that will definitely help Dino Smash. Right there, now for kind of the disappointment for Sky for Sky Dragon X, this guy gets. Although, we saw how effective it was against Jeremy Blue Scott, but that was only because he was facing a full team of Wind Dinosaurs. We need that level of effectiveness from Gygus if Slifer is going to get out of this group. As I said, eight points could be enough. As I said, keyword could. But they'll need other results to go their way. Oh, the Penta gets a hit. Elemental power maxed up now. Not good for Slifer Sky Dragon X, but very good for Dino Smash. Remember, all Dino Smash needs is a losing bonus point to secure their passage to the last 32. And a win would, I think, guarantee them top spot. Well, go wait for the random number generator to load again. Oh, not good for Slifer though, but again, very good for, for Dino Smash. Oh, the bonus point wins looking slipping ever so further away now. And yeah, there it is. Oh, come on. Three scissors in a row. Oh, no, Geica survives. But look at that. It's not going to get off consecutive hits. Oh, well, there is a hit. Can Geiger's turn this around? Oh, wow. Elemental power there. Stacking it up. Busted. And yeah, there it is. There goes the bonus point win for Slifer. No bonus point win here. And it's all on Paris. However, Dino Smash looking really good to secure their place in the last 32. Well, here's Paris and it's got all a lot of work to do. Because Slifer Sky Dragon X won't get the bonus point win. But now they just need to win. Wow, it really hasn't happened for them in this tournament. It's been very difficult. A lot of stuttering results and it's cost them. And I think we could see another defeat here for them again. Just shows how tough this tournament is compared to the last one. It's so competitive. Although it doesn't help that it's just scissors spam from the pen deck. Hey! Paris getting a hit there, it's a stomping hammer, which will not be affected by elemental power, so stomping hammer will do regular damage. Boosh. Yeah, look at that. Decent damage done there. Can Slifer get back in this match? Or will random number generator be an arse again? <laughs> hang on, I better... Oh, hang on, nope, there's a two. It was being dramatic. Ooh, well... The elemental power will save the Pentaceratops from dying, but this Metal Wing is going to do some damage. Can Slifer win this? Okay, well, Pentaceratops is gone. Dino Smash losing a bit of their momentum. Has Slifer Sky Dragon X turned this match around? Of course, let's not forget, all Dino Smash needs is the losing bonus point to secure their passage, by the way. That's all they need. And they do have the type advantage with this Uteraptor. Wow, almost a full tilt Uteraptor here. At least Slifer doesn't have to worry about Dino Illusion, which is a pain in the arse. Pain in the arse. The arse. Oh, that's not good, but very good for Dino Smash. It's job done for as far as they're concerned now. The losing bonus point will be secured with this hit. And it'll be a safe passage to the last 32 for Dino Smash. Emerald Garden getting triggered. Although, even if it gets activated, I don't think it's going to take Paris' health above half. So, yeah. Job done for Dino Smash. And they get the win anyway. And that win is gonna knock out Slifer's Sky Dragon X. Wow, I didn't expect that to be honest. I thought they would get out this group, but it's not gonna happen. Dino Smash getting a win, the type advantage proving crucial there. Well, that is a win for Dino Smash. 
Will that be enough for them to top Group E? We'll just have to see, yeah. won't we? We'll have a look at the table and then move on to our second match. Well, there's Group E as it stands at the minute. Sadly, Slifer Sky Dragon X. Surprisingly, a big surprise if I'm honest, eliminated at the group stage. But as for Dino Smash, it's job done for them. Seven points clear of Alpha Trooper now. And will probably guarantee themselves at least second place. Yeah, second place will be guaranteed, I think, because they defeated Xeno. I, yeah, they defeated Xeno. I think Shin Dominus was the one that beat Dino Smash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, I think Shin Dominus, yeah, Shin Dominus defeated Dino Smash, I think. Oh, no, no, Dino Smash beat Shin Dominus, so yeah. Dino Smash will be on course to finish top of the group now. Unless Shin Dominus gets a bonus point win. So maybe Z, so yeah, bonus point, a 3-0 win will do it for Zeno, will give them top spot. But again, I don't see that happening. But anyway, let's, let's just go on with the second match, which again is a big game between Zeno and Jeremy Blue Scott. Righty there then, in the red corner, for Xeno Slick Goku, it is a Pentaceratops. The lethal type Pentaceratops of course, and it's definitely been lethal for Xeno in this tournament. Really, really good, really, really good. Uh, re uh, remember, a win for Xeno will do, will do. In the blue corner for Jeremy Blue Scott, it is a Eustreptus Bondolus. Jeremy already eliminated from the tournament, looking to get their first win and only win that they'll get in this tournament. And I hope they do it, because I don't want to see someone get zero wins. This sucks. So God, we've got, we won't see Jeremy Blue Scott get a win. Can they do it? Can they get a win? Well, they're facing Sorrow Faganax, so probably no. But there is a grass dinosaur for them to face, so you never know. Could be done. Could be possible. Ooh, getting the first hit though, and I promise there'll be no mistakes this time. <laughs> getting a crit there, getting a crit block. Good start from Jeremy Blue Scott. Is this the day they win? Oh, hang on, I forgot. I gotta do this thingy guys. Right, so, you strep will be going rock. And paint there will be going. Oh, it goes scissors anyway. <laughs> Good hit from Jeremy Blue Scott there. On top early on. Ooh, look at this! Ooh, but the tag team's coming in! Okay, will Crit Block remove the uh, gap in Spark? I suspect it will. Ah, oh, your Papa sure has got nipped. Oh, it doesn't! Ah, interesting! Good tag team usage there by Zeno. But look at this from Jerry Blue Scott getting off a Mayfly. But again, the question's on everyone's mind. Where was this when it mattered most? Particularly against Alpha Trooper, where they had a favourable matchup. Now things look interesting. Looking up for Jeremy for once, because Xeno's second dino is Karanosaurus. Xeno getting a little bit complacent here and might be getting nervous. But put it this way, Sorofagnax is going to have to do some work here. <laughs> And it wouldn't surprise me if Jeremy gets a 2-0 lead here, because his Strepto does have the type advantage. And well, Zeno hasn't even got a hit yet. Oh, there's a tie. But what an opportunity for Jeremy Blue Scott here. Another tie. Oh, oh, wow, another hit! And a crit block! Look at this from Jeremy Blue Scott. Zeno Slick Goku in a bit of trouble. That means you struck the will be going. We'll be going for a crit. You can't go rock. You can't go rock. Oh, you gotta go paper. Look at this from you strip the spawn the little plane like a beast. Cause it sucked the last four rounds, didn't it? Ooh! Zeno getting his first hit at last! But yeah, look at that. Type advantage being... Type this advantage proving a killer. And yet, there it is. There's a Mayfly. And a 2-0 lead for Jeremy Blue Scott. Again, I don't think they're going to win 3-0 because the third dino is Sorofagonax. So, do not count Zeno out yet. 
their third dino is Sorofagonite. And this thing is capable of sweeping an entire win team. Yeah, look at that power. All that power there. Mighty power and some recovery as well. Just in case it needs it. Just in case it needs it there. Zet that is it that is it. Oh the, the crit block! Oh my god, crit block is MVP here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this! Is Jeremy gonna win 3 now? Oh my god, I think he's gonna win 3 now somehow! But again, you've got to, Where was this? Where was this in the first four matches? Oh, wow, yeah. Well, there's a bonus, losing bonus point guaranteed. Tie. Another tie. Well, it's not going to be a 3 0 win, but what an effort from you, Streptospondylus. Well, Zeno is still in the top three, but I think they're going to need Shin Dominus to do him a favour against Alpha Trooper, because I don't think they're going to win this match now. Right, as for Jeremy's second dino, it's Aloatrox. And can Jeremy Blue Scott secure the bonus point win, finishing their tournament on a high? Just shows what they can do, what the wind dinosaurs can do, what they're capable of. You know, fire dinosaurs. Yeah, there it is. Aloatrox. Oh, I didn't finish it. Okay, that will finish it, though. But, wow, you've got to give Jeremy some props here. What a win. What an impressive display against Zeno. The bonus point win to finish their tournament on a high. As for Zeno Slick Goku, well, they're going to have a very nervous wait now. And we'll hope that Shin Dominus does him a favour. Well, I tell you what, six points. You know, it's been it's been a disappointing tournament for Jeremy, and well, really disappointing for Cipher. But gotta give Jeremy some props here for that for that performance. But again, it begs the question: Where was that? Where was that in the last four rounds? If you had that in the last four rounds, you'd probably be getting out of this group. But nope. That is how it is, and I'm sure many of us are breathing a sigh of relief that Jeremy Blue Scott will not be advancing in this tournament. <laughs> Especially after that display. Well, Zeno will be relieved anyway, but look at that. Zeno clinging on to third place. And it's all going to come down to this next matchup between Shin Dominus and Alpha Trooper. Guess it all comes down to this for Group E. Shin Dominus to crack at Alpha Trooper. In the red corner for Shin Dominus is a Tajongasaur. Shin Dominus has looked really strong in this tournament after that first round defeat. So Alpha Trooper's got to be careful here. But I will say a saving grace for Alpha Trooper. This Iguanodon, the Alpha Iguanodon, does have the type advantage over the Tajongasaurus and seems to have terrain advantage as well because we're in the Alpha Arena. And I will also point out that Alpha Trooper's second dino, which is Super Mari, has a type advantage over the Surofagonax, which is Shin Dominus' second dino. So the odds are in Alpha Trooper's favour here. But can he take advantage of it? We'll just have to see. Oh, look, there's a parcel being delivered. Ooh, good start there from the Iguanodon. Iguanodon getting the first hit. comes a tiebreaker. Shin Dominus striking back. Ooh, and a Quake Saber. Not sure how much damage this is going to do, but it's going to do some damage. Boosh! Have a look. No, I didn't think it would do that much. Oh, that's another tie. There's the tiebreakers. 
Russian Dominus fearing pretty well so far. Fearing very well there. Having the lead over Alpha Trooper. Remember, Alpha Trooper needs to win this match to sneak into the top three. If he loses, then he'll pretty much be eliminated. Right, yo then. As for Alpha Trooper second, I know it's a Super Baryonics. Better get my notepads out to make sure I don't miss the awaken mode. Oh, it's on two, so that could be good timing for Alpha Trooper. They can kill the Tajongosaurus and get and be awakened for when the Faganax comes in. Alpha Trooper not out of this yet. Well, it's early days, so <laughs> give him a chance, isn't it? Oh, that's a tie. Ties will suit the Tajongosaurus, though. Chipping away at the Barry, but there's the Aqua Whip. There's the Crep. Is this what Alpha Trooper needs to turn this match around? Ooh, a shockwave as well. That guarantees Tajongosaurus' demise. That's once. So, ooh, Barry will be going paper, so he's going for another crit. Not getting the crit, but a tie will do nicely. And the tiebreaker was gone, so the Tajongosaurus died. And it's not revival type, so he'll be staying dead. Right then. Now for Shin Dominus' second I know, the Sorrow Faganax. Well, we saw how mightily powerful this beast was, and we've seen how powerful it can be in this tournament. Will it Will it help Shin Dominus get the win they need to secure top Well, will it No, a bonus point win I don't think will be enough for the top spot either. But will it be enough for them to get what they need to secure qualification from the group, I should say. Ooh, Barry getting a hit. And it's going to be a big one. And it'll be awakening time for the Barry next round. Things looking up for Alpha Trooper now. Tight advantage. And now for some awaken mode action. Can they get the hit? Oh, they can't! Big chance missed from Alpha Trooper. The health will be halved. And now Shin Dominus could be back in the driving seat. Maybe not. Well, could have done with that last time, but, you know, at least it's a hit. And the extra damage with a type advantage as well. Look at this. Ooh, and a shockwave to gun. Which I think guarantees that Sorrow Faganax will go down. Let's have a look. What will they be going for? Rock. Yep, there it is. Down goes the Faganax. And Alpha Trooper has the lead. How crucial is that? Now then, the Shin Dominus' third dino. It is Bromptakins, and we've seen how effective Bromptakins can be in this tournament. This one is more of full tilt Bromptakins. Lots of powerful moves there, which seems to be Shin Dominus' style. Will it help them get the win over Alpha Trooper? Or can Alpha Trooper get the win they need to secure a top three spot? Well, there goes Barry on X. I suspect it will not survive this. Oh, it does. Okay, interesting. Well, it's definitely not surviving this. It's a Futaba cannon, and ever so slightly, that bar is filling up. Will we see spectral armor? Sloshy, sloshy. Right then, now for Alpha Trooper's third and final dino, it is Megalosaurus. Can this Megalosaurus get the job done for Alpha Trooper? Or will Bronthakins prove too mighty? Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. That was a big result, Jeremy Bruce Scott getting a win. It opened the door for Alpha Trooper to sneak in that top three position. Of course, Alpha Trooper got to do their part first. And so far, we are level pecking. Ooh, I think Ty's favour Bronthakins there. Megalosaurus definitely took more damage. And the bar is filling up. Again, another sign that Ty's favour the Bronthakins. But Megalosaurus gets the first hit this time. And attack boost to come as well. Oh, there's another Ty! Oh, we might. I think we're going to see some spectral armor. Yeah, there it is. 
Here's the hit from Brontokins. It's Spectral Armor time. And I better get the codes out, didn't I? Here we go. Here we go. It's Jack Armor time. Well, if this get if this hit connects, Shin Dominus will win. So Alpha Trooper needs to get the hit here, otherwise he's gonna lose. Oh, he doesn't! Oh, it's not good. Alpha Troopers getting defeated. Xeno Slip Goku breathing a huge sigh of relief as he clings on to third place. As for Shin Dominus. It's another impressive win. This time having to do it with Brontokins. The power of the armored dinosaurs coming through again. Right, we'll have a look at the table. That could be Alpha Trooper out. I'll just have to double check to be sure. And then we'll end the session. Well, well, well. That is how Group E concludes, ladies and gentlemen. Dino Smash and Shin Dominus level on 14 points. But by virtue of the fact that Dino Smash beat Shin Dominus last time, in their match, Dino Smash will top Group E, and Shin Dominus will finish second. And then in third place, we have Xeno Slick Goku clinging on to third place, despite losing to Jeremy Blue Scott. Just hanging in there. And then we have Alpha Trooper in fourth place on eight points. Eight points might still be enough, but it doesn't seem likely at the minute, so... Could be elimination for Alpha Trooper there, but also because Alpha Trooper is on 8 points, that also will put Random Shy Ghost through as well as one of the best 4th place teams. Since they are ahead of 3 of the others. On 10 points. So yes, Random Shy Ghost will be joining Pilk as one of the best 4th place teams going through to the last 32 round. As for Alpha Trooper, it's just a nervous wait to see if results will go his way. But yeah, 8 points could be enough. It could be enough. You just have to see, won't we? We'll just have to wait and see until all the group games are done. Right, let's have a quick look at who's playing it. No, one of the matchups will be someone taking on Gozzi, so let's have a look. So Dino Smash's opponent in the last 32 will be against, ooh, whoever finishes runner-up in Group H, which, as it stands, is Danex Tactile. Could be a tough match, that could be. Then, as for Shin Dominus, E2... Ooh, they will, in fact, be taking on Gypsy Danger. So that could be a good match for Shin Dominus there. Looking mightily impressive in this tournament after after that first round defeat. Kind of like Gypsy Danger as well. Started with defeats and then bounced back, looked really strong, and now looking good for the last 32 round. But yeah, it could be an intriguing matchup. That could be Shin Dominus going up against Gypsy Danger. Well, Gypsy Danger going up against Shin Dominus. <laughs> And as for Xeno Slick Goku, they will be taking on. Ooh, it's going to be a tough match for them, taking on whoever wins Group G, which, as it stands, is going to be Adolf Adams. Ooh, we're getting the matchups, we're getting the matchups. Very exciting year. Looking forward to a lot of these last 32 clashes, but yep, that's a long way to go. Yep, and in fact, that's in 2022, so a little bit of a wait before the last 32 round starts, so yep. That concludes Group E, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, leave a comment. Make sure you don't miss out on any future tournament videos and other videos that you might want to watch of me. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.